Hey guys, what's going on? So um, you might know something a little bit different before I start. I want to say I did get my new microphone hooked up, so I am now using my AT2020. So you might notice a little bit difference in my voice and the audio quality. It should be a lot better than what it's been in the past. So I'm super hyped about that. But today we are going to be talking about the new Ultimate Gohan Dokkan Fest that's available right now. now. I know I said I will not be summoning on this banner. I might change my mind in the future. I might do a live stream and do some summons either tonight, tomorrow... Uh, maybe over the weekend. I don't know. Thing is, like, I would like some dupes of Janemba. I don't have this uh, Trunks. I don't have Gohan, obviously. I'm waiting for one more dupe of Cell before I Doken Awaken him. And I don't have that Boo. So I'm kind of like in one of those mixed positions where it's like, I don't really want to summon because there's not a lot of units on here that I really want. I prefer to have the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. But at the same time, there's some cool units on this banner that I would like to grab. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about it real quick. I did a full review yesterday of the units. Uh, this is the boot, one of the new boosts. Physical type P plus 2, HP and attack plus 50%. Um, horrible leader ability. Super, super type enemies at defense minus 30%, attack plus 80%. He Doken Awakens to Fizz type key plus 3, HP and attack plus 70%, which is really cool. He seals supers, does supreme damage. He does attack plus 100% and super type enemies defense minus 50%. So he debuffs them, essentially. He's not a bad unit to have. He is a physical boo, he's a he's a boo with Gotenks absorbed, and there's a lot of boos for extreme uh, physical right now, so you can definitely have some use for him. And we also have the Gohan. Um, now my Chrome doesn't want to freaking load for me, but we also have Gohan here. Gohan Doken Awakens, his, his max stats are, well, his max information, Hybrid Saiyans Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 170, or sorry, HP and Defense plus 170, Attack plus 130, and at first I, I got it actually mixed up, I thought it was HP and Attack plus 130, and it's not, so Attack plus 130%, honestly, I might as well just wait for Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, and that's why I kind of was like kind of meh about it. Specifically because HP and defense plus 170 is fantastic, but he's only doing 20%, 10% uh, more of an attack when it comes to like LR Gohan and stuff like that. So it's not really worth it in my opinion. His super attack raises attack and causes immense damage. His passive skill attack plus 120%, medium chance to guard against all attacks. Defense plus 50% for all super type allies. So he's definitely a cool unit. He's really good um, with that with that passive skill with defense, defense plus 50% up. He is kind of like, if you get him, he is in my opinion going to be a support unit anyway. So, you know, that's kind of where I am with that when it comes to that kind of stuff. Uh, let's see, he has Link skills all in the family, Saiyan lineage, infighter, Z fighters, shocking speed, power bestowed by God, and fierce battle. Uh, overall, I mean, he's not a bad unit, definitely not by any means. Um, I kind of like it. In terms of the banner, I think I'm going to do like a full, like, should you summon or not. Um, I don't think you should summon on this banner if you have all these units. They are good units, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm not trying to say they're not good units. Boo is good, Gohan's good, Janemba is phenomenal, I like him. Trunks, he has his uses. Cell is decent. He, you need him for an extreme optimal team. As of right now, until we get like the Super Saiyan Rose, the new uh, STR leader, there's no other really good units to run on a mono extreme strength team. So he's kind of going to have to do. He's going to be one of your primary units for that team. Uh, physical Gohan's going to come into play on this team. He's really good. Well, it's really great Saiyan man. Uh, Super Saiyan 2. So he's going to come into really good use on that physical team or on, on the hybrid Saiyan team, that is. This Vegeta is always good. So, like, you do have good units here. I'm just kind of like, there aren't 120 leaders. I think that's really what it is with me. Other than Janemba, there's really no 120 leaders on here. And because no one really runs Janemba, I kind of feel like meh about the banner. Honestly, my personal opinion, don't summon on it. I may do a couple summons on it myself, but I'm also a little bit of a whale. <laughs> so, uh, that's probably why I would do the summon. But for the average person, I would say, you know, for the average Dokkan player... Definitely don't do it, but I'm not the average Dokkan player. Anyway, <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and talk about some team buildings. That's kind of why I wanted to do this video, other than just doing the review of the banner. Um, at least a quick review of the banner. So, this is the ultimate Gohan that's here. He doesn't have a lot of good linking buddies. Now, I'm only basing it off of Hybrid Saiyan. I'm not going to be doing any strength team building with him. We're specifically just going to be doing Hybrid Saiyan because I know the ST Mono STR team is pretty much the same as it's always going to be. It's going to be the Super Saiyan 4 Goku with the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Then it's going to be the Super Saiyan 4 Goku friend with one of the Fierce Battle guys like Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta. Or it's going to be the Gotenks or it's going to be Gogeta if you have him. Um, hell, you could even do this Gohan if you want. And then basic support units like... This, this um, Bardock over here, he's a really good support unit. Uh, you could also run this Vegeta when he gets Doken Awakened. Anyway, he'll be really so, uh, useful. And there's also other units of basic stuff. Um, what is it? The Kaba, who is a good support unit for strength. So he really doesn't fit onto that team. That's why I'm kind of not doing it. 
in terms of this, this is his best linking buddies uh, for Hybrid Saiyans. This Gohan, this even the one he Doken Awakens, he's utter trash. You're never going to run him. This Gohan can be good, but his buff is for physical types, so he's a support unit. You're never going to use him. This Pan can be useful. She is a support unit. Attack and defense plus 30% when HP is 30% or above, I believe. This Gotenks is pretty decent because if he's the first attacker in turn, you do get attack plus 100%. Uh, if he's not a first attacker in, in turn, it's only 77%. And then we have this Pan, who is the agility leader, who falls into kind of like a, a, a agility uh, passive uh, support unit that falls in the same category as this Gohan. So honestly, your only two real good units for this Gohan are going to be uh, the Gotenks and the Pan. The rest of these guys are garbage. So you really don't have that much to run with. I mean, I don't want to say really don't have much to run with, but... I mean, let's see here. We'll have to do some translations. I'm doing this on the JP side, by the way, when it comes to the units, because there are going to be units that are going to be available soon that aren't available on the global side. So I want to make sure I at least covered my bases when it came to that. So Saiyan Blood, a, a Shocking Speed, and Fierce Battle. And then we have Pan, which is Sun Family, or the Goku Family, just Defense plus 15% up, Saiyan Blood, and Super Excited, or Fierce Battle. So really, honestly, there's not that many great link skills with him. Uh, Gohan is, falls into one of those things where it's like he has a pretty damn cool leader ability and he has some really good units for his team if you do it right. But it's very difficult to actually get him to like super attack unless you're running like this Gotenks alongside of him. But uh, overall, he's definitely not a bad unit. He's pretty cool. He does some nice damage. Uh, personally, I think, again, I just think the team's kind of overrated. I was really ho looking to forward to it about a month ago, a month and a half ago. And then after like the Bardock came out, it just ruined it for me. And I kind of realized that this team wasn't as great as I thought it was going to be. But uh, for those of you who are still excited about it, like don't don't let my pessimism about the team stop you. If you like the team, you like the team. I know there's some people who don't like the Bardock team. I personally love it, but I also like Bardock. Um, so if I'm going to do really quick. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk about the LRs because I know a lot of you don't want to hear about it because everyone knows the LRs are not the most optimal units for this team or not the most optimal. They're hard to get that no one actually has them. So you're not going to want to really listen to it. So I'm just going to talk about the LR's best linking buddies that are hybrid Saiyans. So that way if you have one of them, you can know what unit you're trying, what unit or units that you want to add to the team for them to make a little bit more optimal for yourself, at least in terms of link skills. So in terms for LR Gohan, the best hybrid Saiyan that links with him is going to be the Great Saiyan Man 2, the Dokkan version. Obviously we do not have the Dokkan version on the global side, but we will have him soon. He links with uh, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Shocking Speed, Prepared for Battle. That's going to be there, available for you. So I definitely recommend putting those two together. I think, actually, let's go over here and we'll do Super. There we go. Just like that, link skills on for him. And we will see what we can grab. Yeah, so his other version of him, the Undokan variant of him, is also going to be for link skills. So that definitely helps you out a lot as well. Um... And yeah, that's about it. I think you also, well, yeah, that's all. <laughs> so um, you can do that with him in order to get his links off. It definitely helps out with LR Gohan. It at least gives him a 10% attack buff and 2500 flat out buff. Uh, plus all the, the key links. Not like Gohan really needs them or anything, but it's definitely going to be awesome. Plus then you also help out the Great Saiyan Man too. Um, in terms of the LR Trunks, this is not available on the global side as of yet. But as you can see here, there are a hell of a lot of units that can link well with the LR Trunks. We have the Xenoverse Agility Trunks, which is actually really good. He's self-reliant. Uh, we have this Technique Trunks. Uh, actually, I believe this is a support unit, so you really don't need to run him. He's actually a Technique support unit. I'm sorry, I got him confused with a uh, with the other Technique Trunks that does attack plus 90% up. Uh, we have this Strength Trunks. The Strength Trunks does attack plus 100%. This Trunks over here, I believe he's attack plus 100, attack plus 90%, and Great Saiyan Man 2. So all of these guys link for four key links with, its, with, uh, with the LR Trunks, if you want to run him alongside any of them. Uh, strength Trunks is going to be 3 key and attack plus 10% and defense plus 20%. It's actually really well rounded. Uh, for the Great Saiyan Man, if you don't have LR Gohan and you want to use it with Trunks, uh, he links with, damn, 6 key and 10%. So they're going to be very, very viable linking together for key. Uh, the other Trunks that we have here is going to be Super Saiyan. Yeah, so 5 key, attack plus 10%, which is actually awesome. And the Xenoverse Trunks is 4 key defense and attack. So honestly, honestly, in my opinion, I think that... Yeah, this Trunks is probably going to be the best for all around because of the defense and attack buff. Uh, and then the other two are pretty are pretty good choices as well. All of them are really good choices overall. Plus, this one is self-sufficient, key plus three on top of his attack buff. So, that's who you have to choose from if you have LR Trunks or in the future if you grab him on the global side uh, when he comes out. Uh, in terms of the LR Goten and Trunks, uh, they're not available. They probably won't be available for a while on the global side. But I want to cover my bases here since so some of you might ask about it. Um, right now, they don't—they really don't have that many linking buddies. They do have this LR Gohan over here. This is the LR Kid Gohan. They really—I don't even know if we're gonna get him, but he's going to be available. But you know, 
three key links with most of these guys. This Gohan, by the way, is a support unit, so we can have... I just threw him in here for the heck of it, but not really necessary. Trunks links with three key links over here. The Innocence, Desired Star, which is... I don't know what... I think it's that Budding Warrior, and Breaking the Limit, so a 20% attack buff, and then uh, Shattering Limit, which is key plus two. Then we have Go Goten over here, which is the same thing, 20% attack buff and key plus two. Gohan is Z Warriors for attack plus 15% and then four key. And the LR Kid Gohan is going to be the Innocent Z Warrior, so that's attack plus 25% up and a flat out LR boost of 5,000. Overall, not that bad. You're probably going to run either the Goten or the Trunks alongside him, depending on who you have on your team. Now that I got that out of the way, and most of you guys are probably just like, you know, rolling your eyes at me right now, I just want to show you the best linking buddies for Hybrid Saiyans on top that go along with the LRs in-game, so that way you don't need to have all of them, all the LRs. These are just the ones who link well if you do have the LR or end up pulling them. Um, this is actually just because this LR kid Gohan's here, I figured I'd show you two. Three key with that pan, outside of that, not really worth it. Now... In terms of optimal team building when it comes to non-LR units, I know this is probably what everyone's been waiting for. Uh, this is a spider web. You can see over here how many freaking awesome units that are available in-game. So many of these guys hit really hard. They actually all hit really hard. I think the lowest hitting one is maybe uh, attack plus 80% on their passive. So you really have a good choice. And I think that's why the Hybrid Saiyan team is so so like well known and so wanted because there's so many freaking awesome units that you can choose from and you'll get a lot of good stuff out of it uh and plus it makes use of units that you probably never use uh, in the past you know so like on the right hand side we have all the really good support units and now i did throw the mono physical one in here for this physical support unit and if you look on the left hand column that's really why Physical God Tanks over here, the Super Saiyan 3 Physical God Tanks, Physical uh, Seal Tanks, then you have the Great Saiyan Man, which is a physical unit, the Physical Trunks, which is an awesome unit, so you have like literally a full physical team if you wanted to run it, And but again, that's why I threw him here, plus the other two support units are also physical, so, I mean, actually all the support units are physical, <laughs> Hybrid Saiyans are like literally take, have taken over the physical units in game. Uh, but let's go ahead and talk about team building. Honestly, I, I broke it down the best as I could. I mean, any of these units are phenomenal. Any of these guys, you, you can pause the video if you want to. The agility, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, or is it Super Saiyan Gohan? Either one. Uh, he is really good. He does attack plus 90% on his Doken Awakening. This Gohan is really cool. He does. He's self-sufficient, and he does, I think, uh, attack plus 80% or something like that. This Goten is really awesome. This Trunks is freaking phenomenal. Like, these guys are just great. But um, I tried to, to narrow it down to the best links in game. Uh, obviously, the number one unit that we're going to obviously have on the Hybrid Saiyan team is going to be the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Now, it could be the physical one or the technique one. It's however, whoever you want to run. Physical one obviously trumps the technique one if you have him. So I'm going to say he's the number one unit you're going to want on the team outside of the LR. Well, obviously, you can't do anything about without this Gohan. Um but that's who you're going to choose, and then he links well with the seal tanks. Now, that's going to be your first lineup, and you're going to have four of them together. That's attack plus, was that 20, 35% and key plus two. So you're going to be starting off right off the bat with eight key and a huge attack buff. Now, you're going to, unfortunately, because Gohan doesn't have that many linking buddies, you're going to have to have him off rotation, but he does give everybody defense plus 50%, so it's definitely going to help at least everybody tank. And because most of your units are physical, they're probably going to have a higher defensive stat anyway. So that's going to be cool. Um, on support, you're going to have this physical Gohan, and he does attack and defense plus 35% for all allies. So that's very, very useful. Uh, on top of that, I know he does a really nice uh, uh, buff when it comes to his super attack. Now, I'm going to go ahead and bring this up on my off screen. He does, uh, his, his super attack is Super Kamehameha. He greatly raises his attack for one turn and causes supreme damage to the enemy. All allies attack and defense plus 35%. So that's why I think he's awesome. Uh, he also has a decent leader ability, like just all types key plus 3 HP attack plus 40%. So he's going to be your uh, support unit for this team. Well, actually, one of your primary support units for this team. You can go over here and look at all the other support units, like the Pan's a good support unit. This Gohan can be a good support unit. This Trunks is a phenomenal support unit. Uh, there's even the World Tournament Strength Team Gohan, which is another good support unit. The thing is, if you have another Team Gohan on the team, you're not going to be able to throw him on support. So I kind of just like cut them out for that. Um, but then we also have other units over here, like if you don't have the seal tanks, you can run this this uh, Trunks. He links very well with go with uh, the Super Saiyan 3 Go tanks, or vice versa. He also links well with seal tanks. So that's something you can take into consideration. Uh, seal tanks also links very well with this Gohan, the Great Saiyan Man 2 Gohan. So you could link him with him. Uh, you could also have the Intelligence Gohan. Now the Intelligence Gohan is essentially the same damn thing as the Agility Gohan. I just like the Intelligence one better. 
Um, so you can throw either one that you want there. Both of them link very well together with the Great Saiyan Man 2. Uh, Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man, that is, anyway. So you have them. You also have this uh, Goten over here. If you if, Honestly, if you're going to run Goten on the team, you might as well run a Trunks. All the Gotens and Trunks is linked very well. It just so happens that the Agility and Physical link with six key links. Uh, that is over here. What is this? This is going to be 10%, 10%, 10%, 30% attack buff. Um, four key and defense minus one. And, oh, another key over there. So that, they, they link so freaking well. And you also have the Xeno Trunks, which you can put in... He links well with the super, uh, with the actual Super Saiyan 2 Great Saiyan Man, and with the Seal Tank. So they share some good links there. Plus the Great, uh, the actual Xeno Trunks uh, is very self-sufficient. He gives himself key plus three on top of that attack buff. So honestly, this is my probably going to be my number one team that I would recommend running when it comes to a hybrid Saiyan team, but that's just my opinion on the matter. Uh, you can let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Uh, again, these are all the really good units that I have found that I think are really good that you could run. I mean, like the Super Saiyan 2 Gohan's also a really, like, always a good one. He has immense damage, so if you super attack 10 him, he's going to even be even better. Um, we can go over here. I didn't really finish doing the team building with this. Uh, I just wanted to talk about it. If you have either of the, well, you're not going to have the trunks yet, but if you have the LR Gohan, I already talked about the best linking buddies for them. Uh, you can go ahead and throw LR Gohan and LR Trunks together. They are really good linking buddies. They give each other four key attack plus 10% and the legendary power 5,000% up. So they're going to link to very well. You're going to have this Gohan and your friend Gohan off rotation. You can go ahead and use this Gohan I mentioned over here um, as a support unit. And then you would have the Fizz tanks, the Super Saiyan 3 tanks with the Super Saiyan Seal tanks. Uh, off rotation on here so honestly that's probably going to be your best bet with the LRs right now there's no LR trunks so that would get taken out and you would replace Gohan with the best linking buddy which is the great Saiyan man too so that's going to be your best LR team I just you know want to at least throw that in there but anyway guys that is the team building guide for the hybrid Saiyan team if you guys want to know anything about that I hope that was really informative I helped you that helped you out by the way what did you think about the audio quality now that I'm using a different microphone I hope it sounds a lot better to you I was really excited when I got it but anyway, guys, thank you for joining me here today. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.